Hello, it's good to see you. Today we're in Dollar Tree and we're gonna look at stuff to make posters. Um, they're getting ready to uh, prepare for the end of grade tests in the uh, elementary and middle schools around here. And um, my younger son's teacher has sent a message to the parents of the kids in the class and asked if we would make a motivational poster something like this. I don't know if I want to go with neon. Anyway, make a motivational poster or something like, you know, you can do it or, you know, good work or something to, she's going to put it up all along the hallway in front of the classroom. Kind of like a little surprise. And she's also putting together a video of different pictures of the parents posing with their poster. So she wants us also to send a picture of our, ourselves with the poster that we make. So I thought it would be kind of cool to come in here and look and see what kind of options we have. We have neon crayons. I don't know if I want neon crayons. They do have borders. We have little poster borders. Ooh, that one's cool. Kind of a holographic. And then we have green. So you could um, just take these. I don't know if they have adhesive on the back. I'll probably pick up a couple of glue sticks, just in case. I'll probably need them anyway. Um, you might, it doesn't say they have adhesive, so they probably don't. You get, let's see, 36 die cut borders. So I guess you get 18 of each. We have that one, and we have one here that's gold, kind of shiny, and red. Ooh, red full. Look at that. Red and blue, red full, and then just plain blue. That's kind of nice. You could do um, maybe red along here and here and blue there and there, or one, one color on the sides and one color at the top and bottom. There's a pink one back there. Let me see. I don't know if I want to just start with a plain white piece of poster board or if I want to start with a neon color. We have neon yellow, green. Ooh, I like the pink one. Look how bright pink that is. And then we have just red and blue and regular green here. So we actually, I think a neon one would be would be really cool. Um, I think that would be a, a really grab your attention. And then you could go with um, like sparkly blue letters on there, perhaps. They also have some that have. Um, they're a little sparkly, but not quite as sparkly in a light blue. And then we have these letters that are just um, two shades of red in diamond, a diamond pattern. Oh, this one's cool. Kind of a teal color with stripes. What we could do, <clears throat> in a separate video we're going to make the poster, what we could do is actually buy several different types of letters and mix them up. Not, you know, not do it all in one. And here we have poster letters. Two of each letter, we have orange and blue, and you can't really see it. They reflect a little bit. They're not just like a matte finish. So, you know, you get two of each letter. Like we could get this pack here. There's only one. I get that one. And, hmm, I'm thinking, I don't know, with that orange and blue, I really like the shiny blue, this one, the sparkly blue, that one's cool. We could do, and the letters are, you know, big enough that you can see them. I was kind of hoping they would have some bigger letters, which they actually do, um, the back here, but they're not a lot bigger. It's kind of annoying because they have these great big numbers, so you can get a sheet of numbers. And then we have these random... <laughs> great big stickers. I, I don't know. They look like nautical flags or something. I don't know. But we could get some of these and put them on the, the poster. We also have these poster stickers. Great big bubbles. You could actually use that as a border as well. It's cut. You know, it has that wavy cut like the border. So we could, um, we could actually do a border like that. Which... 
I don't know. I think if I was going to do white, I would do a border like that, but maybe not neon. Which, I mean, we still could do white, but I really like the neon. Okay. But really, that's the only other choice for poster stickers. Here we have some more of these. And we have this style of letter here. And they're just plain black. <clears throat> and we have some quotation marks and exclamation points. I would like to have the exclamation point. I don't know that these, let's see, 40 holograph holographic letters, letter count listed on back. This doesn't come with any exclamation points. Bummer. And then we have this style of letter here. These are lowercase letters. Great big lowercase letters. We also have these foam boards. I don't really want to go with the foam board, I don't think. Um, I think I'm just going to stick with the idea of doing just a poster board. They also have black foam board. If you ever have to do projects for your kids, this this is really great. And they have the trifold displays. If you Every now and then, you know, your kids need one of those trifold things to make a project with. Um, yeah, you can get them a lot cheaper here than at Staples or Target or wherever. Um, so that's basically what we are limited to. I was looking to see, you know, over in the craft section, they may have some big foam letters. That's an option. Let's look in the teacher's corner and see if there's anything over here that would work. I thought they had some big foam letters here at one point. Here's an alphabet border. That's not what I want. Oh, look at these cool window clings, little polka dots. That's cool. I don't see any foam letters over here. Oh, this is cute. Look at the little caddy. <laughs> That's adorable. Little thing. You can put crayons and stuff in there. We even have little baby caution cones in yellow and green, red and blue. The blue one says something. It says, well done. That's cute. And we have a color wheel, educational posters, dodecahedron. This isn't helping me though. Um, I thought they would have some foam letters over here, but I don't really see any. Darn. We have erasers. Little pencil sharpeners. Magnets. Um. Okay, well, let's walk over here for a second. Where's the craft section? Is this? No, this is toys. I know they have a craft section in here somewhere. This is definitely not it. This is toys. This is a different Dollar Tree. I'm not familiar with it. Um, everything. Oh, okay. I think I just passed it. Oh, look at the pretty cards. Let's see. What's this? Oh, a little lantern. A hundred lumens. That's cool. Here we are. Oh, they have new candles. Oh, look at this one. <laughs> it's a little be magical. That's actually a tiny candle. Um, oh, here's one with a mermaid tail. Number one calm. The ones that look like little cups of coffee. Oh, those are cute. Sorry, that's not what I'm here for, is it? I thought maybe they would have some back here. But this is, um, this is not it. Oh, they have some more of the sand, though. They have some green sand, red. You can get, you can get a bag of cut up trees. Look, seriously, wood stems. And a little bag of seashells. Great big discs of glass for your decorating pleasure. They have black sand and pebbles. You can get a bag of rocks. Wonders never cease. Okay, so we don't have big foam letters over here. We we have a big foam O. <laughs> the big O. It's not going to help me here. We have furry things. 
We have craft stem. I don't think I'm going to try to glue that to my poster board, though. What about over here? Now, over here we have some stuff. We have foam beads. Pom-poms. <laughs> you could glue some pom-poms to the poster. Alphabet beads. What's this? Oh, it's a giant glue stick. It's so big it doesn't want to let go. A fairy door. More foam beads. And then you get into um, more toys. I could have sworn I saw foam letters here at one point. We have glue sticks. Glitter glue sticks. Finger paint. <laughs> fastener dots. It's little velcro dots with adhesive on them. It's cool. Tiny, tiny storage containers. Glass beads. Here we have wooden letters. I'm looking way up there. I don't see any up there either. Um, oh, look, you can make a little birdhouse. Cute little balsa wood birdhouse. Um, okay, well, I think we may just have to abandon that idea. Hold on a second. Foam letter stickers. Well, these are foam stickers, but they're very small. You can, it's kind of hard to see, but they're, they're in there. You have to kind of pull them out. They're punched out of the foam. But they're really little. I could have sworn I saw some big ones. But anyway, we will just abandon that idea and come back. We'll come back to our, where we were. Where was I? <laughs> I was over here. Oh, no, I wasn't. Look at these cute little containers. It's like a little pencil box, but you could really use it for anything. Here we have a bunch of Crayola stuff. We have washable glue, crayons, flashcards with rhyming words, colors and shapes, addition. Washable glue sticks. Okay. And uh, little things of paint. We could just paint the letters on there, but I kind of wanted to use the sticker letters. Um, alright. Well, here's what we're going to do then. We're just going to go with these. We're going to use these. These are, I think these are big enough. It's going to be, the kids are going to be um, pretty close to the poster, so they'll be able to read it with no problem. So we can get, I think I want to go with the bright yellow poster board. It's just so, it's just so festive and cheerful. I, I like it. And get these blue letters. We'll do blue. Um, should we do light blue? We have that. Red and green. I don't really want to use red and green. We'll do blue and light blue. And I want to get these as well. These stickers because, well, there's an exclamation point. But maybe we could, I don't know. It's going to end up looking like a ransom note if I have a bunch of different fonts and individual letters. I don't know. We'll draw the exclamation point. Okay, and for the border, we do have this as an option. Um, I mean, it's okay. I kind of like it. But, um, let's see. Okay, there's a blue one back there. Let me see the blue one. There's a blue one in pink. Now, see, we have this shiny blue, which kind of matches the letters. I think as long as it's just super colorful, it's not going to matter. I think the kids are going to like it no matter what. <laughs> I don't think they're going to overanalyze it too much. How about we just go with that? Oh, I won't hold it there, but I don't think I want to do this one. I'm going to put that one back. We'll do blue and pink. Okay, just stay there. Um... How about, how about some, some glitter, something to make it sparkly? Do we have any, anything? Not in the teacher's corner. See, they have these things in them for teachers, which is really cool. They have different, different things. And, okay, no, no glitter there. Let me look over here. 
Okay, here we have the regular glue sticks. What we can do is just put some glue on there and sprinkle glitter on it. I mean, that's always an option. Oh, we could put, we could stick, we could stick jewels all over it. That would be cool. We could put little jewels on it. And then we have just plain uh, glitter here that we could do. We can actually do both. Yeah, I'm loath to bring glitter into my home. If you've ever had to deal with glitter, you know what I'm talking about. Here we have different colors of glitter. That's cool. I like this one. So we could do the glitter. What's this? Tacky glue. So that's like a glue stick, basically. We'll do some gems on there. And we'll do the glitter. Um, oh, wait. I see big gems. Look at these. We could put big gems on it. How about we do big gems and little gems? And forego the glitter. I, I really don't. If you've ever had glitter in your home, you know what? I really don't want to take that home. Have the little wooden letters. Um, okay, so we'll do we'll do little gems and big gems. I don't know, I feel like it needs something else. I don't know why. Just glitter glue. Glitter glue. It needs glitter glue. We're doing glitter glue as well. Oops, I keep ending up on this aisle. Okay, so I'm gonna use this as my display. So we have glitter glue, big gems and jewels, little gems and jewels. There, we're going to go with the bright, sunny, colorful, encouraging yellow poster board. Two different shades of blue for the letters. Um, okay. And we're doing this border here. We're going to use blue and pink because they come together. And let me grab a glue stick while I'm here. Let's see. There's a giant glue stick. Ooh. I don't know if I want a big glue stick though. What if we just get these little ones here? These are Jot, which is the brand you see pretty frequently in Dollar Tree. See, we have Jot clear push pins, the multicolored push pins, labels, sticky notes, staples, all kinds of things. They even make uh, calculators. You can get a scientific calculator for a dollar. That is crazy. I couldn't have imagined that 30 years ago. Although the one my son needed for his class math class this year. <laughs> It was like a hundred dollars. They had to have this specific type of calculator for their class. I'm hoping he can use it again next year. Here we have, ooh, metallic markers. I wanna play with these. I wanna play with these metallic markers. I don't know that we'll use it for the poster, but I love metallic markers. I don't have anywhere to put my things. Okay, that's not gonna stay. So we have our glue sticks, metallic markers. We could draw some little hearts or smiley faces on the poster with our markers. W what I found with kids, the more colorful, the better. It doesn't even have to really, it doesn't have to match. It doesn't matter. Um, I do want it to match a little bit because it will bug me if it doesn't. But um, yeah, the more colorful, the better. So um, I'm just trying to encourage them and give them a little uh, smile, make them feel special for the EOGs. That's end of grade testing. I don't remember if I explained that or not. Um, if you don't live in the USA, that's something they do at obviously the end of the <laughs> end of the year. They're not quite there yet. It's not time for the EOGs yet. I do like the sparkly glit uh, glue sticks. You can even get laser tape, sparkly tape. I don't think I want to do that though. I think I'm going to skip it this time. We have window markers. Oh, cool. They have white ones and 
I don't know what color these are. Is this one black? Look, I don't know. It doesn't say. I guess you just have to try it and find out. They have a lot of them though. They go all the way up there. All right. I love these little things, little storage containers. You can even get little containers of um, different types of glass beads as well. Gigantic pipe cleaners. Look at that. Like Muppet legs. Hey, look at these foam stickers. These are cute. Little, little things. They have some stickers somewhere. I can't remember where. Might be over with the cards. Maybe not. Let's see. We have bows. We could put some bows on the on the poster, or would that that would that be too much? That might be a little too much. I like these though. Look at these pretty bows. We could stick some bows on the poster. <laughs> I'm serious. Look, we could do these right here. We could put these on there. Ooh, these are pretty. Here you get two of these sparkly bows we could put on there. That'd be cool. Or we could do these gold ones. We could do blue and gold actually. I don't know. It's just I just happened to think of that. Oh, maybe the multicolored ones like this. Like these here. I think these would be fun. You get two of these. What if we did that? I think we could do that. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Sometimes you can find stickers in here. They even have stuff for yard sales. Check it out. They have all your garage sale needs and you can even get garage sale labels that's handy I like it oh and you can get little canvases you can um you can get little here's a stretched canvas 8 by 10 and then they have smaller ones and sketch pads and drawing pads nice this is where I got the paint when we painted um with the roller not too long ago I even got the rollers here Right over here we have pens and markers and pencils and again most of it is from Jot well not all of it but a lot of it is from Jot we have a bunch of cute little pencils oh these are neat they have the little toppers on them I used to love those when I was a kid I loved getting those as a prize in class I always felt like queen for the day or something here's a cute notepad celebrate everything that's cool. It has a hundred sheets. Ooh, I don't know what that is, but I want to see it. Let me take this off. Here we have big generic post-it notes. Look at this one. Ooh, the Avengers. Look how, look how cool that is. It's nice. Okay, I don't have a cart. I'm going to have to go get one, but I wanted to show you some of this cool stuff. So we're going to Later today, we're going to be making a poster. This is fun. This is cool. So I think, I think that's going to look cute on there. We'll take, there are two, these are two separate bows. We're going to separate them. And um, I think we'll orient the poster this way instead of this way. And we'll just put them up in the corners. That's going to look really cool. So, anyway. This is awkward, I have my hands full. <laughs> Hard to turn the camera around, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. We're gonna go home later and make a poster.